you finally narrow down your dental benefits choices and have decided to go either with a DHMO or DPPO plan. And this is where it gets confusing. What's the difference? Which is the best plan for you and your family right now? Here are seven major differences between a DHMO and a DPPO plan that will help you confidently pick the plan that's right for you and your family. So one of the most basic differences between a DHMO and DPPO plan is premium cost. DHMO premiums are typically the least expensive of all the dental insurance plans, while the premiums for a dental PPO plan are more expensive. Primary Care Dentist Selection Often, with a DHMO plan, you must select and be assigned to an in-network primary care dentist. This is the main general dentist you visit for dental care. You can transfer to a new office by calling your insurance company. But all DHMO plans are not created equal. Some have an open access network, like Solstice plans. This feature gives you the flexibility to receive services from any in-network provider. And you can switch providers as many times as you wish without having to contact the insurance company or appear on an office's roster. In general, on dental PPO plans, you don't have to be assigned to a primary care dentist, but have the freedom to visit any dentist. Provider access. It's important to know that DHMOs are typically in-network plans. This means that you will receive coverage for covered procedures only when you use a dental provider your insurance company has approved. On a DPPO plan, you receive coverage whether you visit an in-network or out-of-network provider. However, you experience the greatest savings when you use an in-network provider. Payment. Under the DHMO plan, you pay the fixed dollar amount, also called a copayment, that's listed on your schedule of benefits for covered services. A schedule of benefits is a document that lists all the procedures your plan covers and what you pay for each procedure. It's similar to a menu. On a DPPO plan, you pay a percentage of the negotiated fee, which was agreed on by your dentist and your insurance carrier for covered procedures, and the insurance company pays the remaining balance. When you use an out-of-network dentist, your out-of-pocket costs will be higher because the dentist does not have an agreement with the insurance company. Therefore, the dentist can charge his or her usual fees for all procedures. Claims. On a DHMO plan, you don't have to worry about filing claims. You simply pay your co-payment for covered procedures and that's it. On a DPPO plan, once you use a network provider, he or she will file your claims for you. However, if you receive care from a non-network provider, you most likely will have to file your own claims. Deductibles. A deductible is a specific dollar amount you must pay before the insurance carrier will pay towards your claims. DHMO plans do not have a deductible. However, DPPO plans do. And the deductible is different depending on the insurance company and the type of plan you choose. Maximums. An annual maximum is the highest amount an insurance company will pay towards your dental care in a specific period of time, usually January to December. There are no calendar maximums on a DHMO plan. You simply pay your copayment for covered procedures. Just be sure to read any limitations or exclusions that may apply to your plan. A DPPO plan does have a calendar maximum. This amount varies by insurance company and by plan. So to recap, differences between a DHMO and DPPO plan center around seven key factors. They are premium cost, primary care dentist selection, in-network or out-of-network provider access, how your payments are determined, filing claims, 
existence of deductibles and maximums. Now that you know the main differences between these two plans, picking the right dental plan will be a breeze.